souls. Witnessing makes one silent. Love yourself. Accept yourself. And do not create unnecessary problems. And all problems are unnecessary. There is no necessary problems. I have not come across any. Remain with your facticity and transformation will happen. But it is not a result and you cannot force it to happen. It is a consequence, not a result. If you accept yourself and remain alert, it comes. If you cannot force it, you cannot say that I will force it to come. And if you force a false things will happen, if you force a false thing will happen to you and then that false thing can be disturbed by anyone at any time. Witnessing makes one quiet, silent and still. In that stillness and playfulness one grows. Remember, if you have really become silent, you will not pay attention to what others are saying. If the opinions of others is still important, you are not silent. Really, you are waiting for them to say something or for them to approve and appreciate that you have become silent. Your silence needs their approval. You need them to certify it. And then you are not confident that you have become silent. This is how life goes on. Others' opinions are meaningful only because you do not know anything on your own. Opinion is never knowledge. You go on gathering opinions of the others because you do not know what you are, who you are, what is and what is happening to you. You have to ask others what is happening to me. You have to ask others if you are really silent, quiet and still, then there are no friends and no opinion is meaningful. Then you can laugh. Let them say whatever they say. But you become affected. Whatsoever they say goes deep in you. And we live in the images that others create for you. And this makes you disturbed. Whatsoever they say goes deep into you. And this makes you disturbed. Your silence is false, forced and cultivated. It is not a spontaneous flowering within you. You, have may, you may have forced yourself to be silent, but you are boiling deep within. Then silence is just on the surface. If someone says you are not silent, or if someone says that this is not good, or if someone says this is false, then you are disturbed. And then the silence is gone and you become serious. So what is wrong in being serious? If you are born serious, to be serious, you will be serious. You cannot force playfulness 
otherwise your playfulness will be serious and you will destroy the whole play there are serious players there are serious players they get so serious in their games and plays that it becomes even more anxiety creating if you are serious you are serious nothing can be done about it be serious and remain serious then you have already started being playful you are playful about your seriousness not serious about it there are two different thing being playful about your seriousness and being serious there is a vast difference between the two you take it as a play so you say okay god has given me this role so i'll be a serious man and i will play my seriousness then it will have disappeared then it will have disappeared deep down you do not understand me you can create seriousness out of your playfulness or you can create playfulness out of your seriousness it all depends on you you can create seriousness out of your playfulness or you can create playfulness out of your seriousness if you are a sad one a serious one tell everyone i am born serious and i am going to remain so and do not get serious about it be simply be and then you can laugh about it and sooner or later this will disappear and you will not even become aware of what has and you will not become aware of when it has disappeared also do not pay attention to what others say this is a disease depending on the opinion of others is a serious disease they will drive you crazy the others who are these others and why are you so much interested in them they drive you crazy and you drive them crazy because you are the other to them and they are other to you why pay so much importance to others we say in our day to day life he makes me angry he makes me this or that why pay so much importance to others to the opinion of others pay attention to your own experiences and remain true to your own experiences and realizations if you feel good in being serious it is okay if you feel you have become quiet and silent and is still through your practice of witnessing why be interested and why be disturbed by what others say but we are not confident so we must gather the opinions of the others we must go on a signature campaign you think i have become a buddha so please sign when everyone signs it and you have gathered as many signatures at least the majority you think then that you are a buddha 
you need a confirmation. This is not the way to be enlightened one. One can grow simultaneously in stillness and playfulness. One can grow simultaneously in stillness and playfulness. One grows. There has never been any case that is otherwise. One grows simultaneously in stillness and playfulness. I emphasize this. One grows simultaneously in stillness and playfulness. But if your stillness is false, then problems arise. All those who have known silence have always been playful, non-serious. All those who have known silence, who have experienced silence, who have realized this, this silence, have always been playful, non-serious. They could laugh and they could laugh not only at others. Instead, they can laugh at themselves as well. They could laugh and they can laugh not only on others but on themselves as, as well. When you can laugh at yourself, then it is a joy of its own. I will tell you an anecdote about Bodhi Dharma who went in 6th century AD to China at the invitation of the king of the Wu dynasty. And what does it mean to laugh at oneself, enjoy one's playfulness? Raman used to do that. Enough for now.